and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to use trios to view and analyze the different forms of data acquisition in WinTest by displaying them concurrently in real time to obtain a more comprehensive understanding of the evolving material behavior of a sample undergoing fatigue testing. WinTest, the instrument control software for Electroforce mechanical testing devices, can simultaneously execute different forms of data acquisition based on a user's need and type of test. These forms of data acquisition include time data acquisition, peak valley data acquisition, and level crossing data acquisition. TRIOS, TA Instruments' data plotting and analysis software package, is fully compatible with each of these acquisition schemes and is able to update and overlay each individual scheme in real time. In this tech tip, we will go over how to take advantage of this functionality to collect and display timed and peak valley data from a sample undergoing high cycle fatigue testing and observe how its material behavior changes during the test. After setting up your sample, set up the testing parameters in WinTest. Here, we will define a sine wave from 1 Newton to 10 Newton at 10 Hertz for 100,000 cycles. For the data acquisition parameters, we will ask WinTest to collect data for 20 cycles at 100 points per cycle every 500 cycles using the time data acquisition scheme. These parameters will introduce a sampling gap between acquisition events, which will keep our time data file sizes manageable. To ensure that we are still obtaining data from every single cycle, we will also acquire the maximums and minimums of every sine wave for the duration of the test using the peak valley data acquisition scheme. We are now ready to start the fatigue test. After doing so, open TRIOS and navigate to the folder where your data files are saved. The time data will have a .tdf extension, and the peak valley data will have a .pvf extension. TRIOS indicates active live data streaming by displaying a green circle by the applicable data tab. Note that both time data and peak valley data are indicated as being updated in real time. To overlay the timed and peak valley data, click on the TRIOS icon on the upper left of the screen, highlight New, and click on Overlay Document. Then, click and drag the data files from each data acquisition scheme from the File Manager sidebar to the center of the screen and define your variables of interest for display. Notice how data continues to be appended to the datasets even in overlay format. After using this live overlay display to ensure that our data collection parameters are working as desired, we can let the test proceed until we are ready to check in with the test again. After a certain amount of time has passed, we can observe the live data display to determine if sample material behavior has changed significantly over the course of the test thus far. This display is also invaluable in ensuring that the test is proceeding without issues, such as sample slippage, significant shift in sample behavior, etc. Zooming into this dataset, we observe that new data continues to be appended to its leading end. Additionally, we can zoom in on instances of timed data acquisition to verify our data acquisition resolution parameters, as well as check for changes to the sample's response to the applied loading. Once we have verified that the test is proceeding smoothly, we can allow the test to continue until completion. Once the test has completed, Note that the green circle in TRIOS indicating active data streaming between TRIOS and WinTest disappears. To separate the y-axis data into individual plots, click on the Format tab in TRIOS and select Stack Y-axis. This feature helps prevent the various data channels from obscuring each other and allows access to data points for processing. Either during the test or after the test, you can use TRIOS's various data processing capabilities to analyze the data as per your application. Here, we will perform statistics on measured load over time to determine the instrument's capability of maintaining the desired fatigue loading parameters. Such analysis helps to verify that the instrument was able to precisely control loading for the entirety of the test. You can then save the resulting overlay as a TRIOS file to save plot visual options and data analysis. TRIOS's ability to provide live data streaming of sample mechanical behavior, coupled with WinTest's ability to provide flexible data acquisition schemes 
allows the user unprecedented insight into the progression of their test and is potentially invaluable for monitoring months-long fatigue testing protocols. In this tech tip, you have demonstrated how to take advantage of a newly introduced feature to the TRIO software package, as well as make the most of Wintest's data acquisition protocols. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips, and thank you for your interest.